I think furniture, the jury's still out on that, whether, whether uh, uh, the operations, which have grown very rapidly in size, but, but uh, still are incurring losses, uh, how they will do over time. Uh, it is true that in the present market, partly because of the, some successes, like most dramatically Amazon in the past, that investors are, are willing to look at losses if, as long as sales are increasing and, and hope that there will be better days ahead. We do a quite significant uh, percentage of our sales online in the furniture operation. That might surprise you. We do the, the highest percentage in Omaha. And what's interesting is that, that uh, we, we uh, I won't give you the exact numbers, but it's large. We do a significant with dollar volume, but a, a very significant portion of that volume, people come to the store to pick up so that they, they will order something from us online, but they, they, they don't mind, they don't seem to mind at all. Uh, and they don't have to do it, but they, they, uh, they get a pickup at the store. So, you know, it, you, you learn what customers like, just like people learned in fast food, you know, that, that people would buy a lot of food by going through a drive-in that they don't want to stop and go into the place. We learn about customer behavior as it, as it unfolds, but we did do now, uh, on Tuesday, we did 9.2 million of or 9.3 million of profitable volume at the Nebraska Furniture Mart. And I think that company had paid in capital of $2,500 and I don't think anything's been added since. So it's, uh, it's working so far. The first quarter, it's interesting, the first quarter was weak at all four of our furniture operations. Uh, but there's certain other parts of the economy uh, well, just home building generally. Uh, uh, it's considerably below what you would have expected considering the recovery we have had from the 2008-9 period. I mean, if you look at, if you look at single family home construction, uh, the model has shifted um, more to people living in apartment rentals. I think it I think it's gone from 69 and a fraction percent. It got down to 63 percent. It's bounced up a little bit. But people are, uh, they're just not building or moving to houses uh, as rapidly as I would have guessed. They would have based on figures prior to 2008 and 9. And considering the recovery we've had and considering the fact that money is so cheap, uh, and that has some effect on our on our furniture stores. That, uh, uh, I, I think we've got a very, very good furniture operation, uh, not only at the Nebraska Furniture Mart, but, but at other furniture operations. And we will see whether uh, the models work um, you know, over the long run, but they, uh, I, I think, you know, they have a reasonable chance. Some things people, people, we're learning that people will buy some things that they've always gone to uh, the mall or to a retail outlet to buy, that they will do it online and others don't, don't work so well. Charlie? I think that we'll do better than most furniture retailers. I think that's a certainty. <laughs> yeah. uh, overall, yeah. overall. Uh, we've got we've got some good 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 operations there, and um, but we don't want to become a showroom for the for the online operations and have people come and look around the place and then order someplace else. So we have to have the right prices, and and uh, uh, we're good at that at the furniture market. 